Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to High Point. Let's check out this one. But again, before we do, right there's the link to my resale app. Up above is the link to my new construction website. You can go to either one of those links or scan the QR code with your mobile phone and it will take you directly to them. Completely free to use. Let's check out this one. So, I am sorry, it is a bit blustery and windy today, so I'm kind of up against the side to stay out of the wind a little bit. I will walk out and show you more about the home here in a second. This is actually townhome, Lennar community. A little bit before we get into this one. If you are thinking about buying new, you want to buy new, you are considering buying new, call me right away. Call me before you call the builder, before you email and before you go take a look at the pretty models in person. If you want representation, I need to go with you the first time. I need to call on your behalf. Otherwise, you are going to work directly with the sales associates and they're awesome, but they don't represent you. They represent the builder. They have their fiduciary responsibility to the builder. So if you want representation, give me a call. All my info is down in the description as well as the pinned comment. So we're going to be looking at this one today. Again, you can see all of them right here. They do have a sales office that will be turned into the two car garage. But right now we are going to be looking at the Fletcher. Again, Lennar community, this is three bed, two and a half bath. You saw the two car garage or what will soon be the two car garage. This is 1,760 square feet. This is gonna start at 421,990. Now, if you could do me a huge favor and hit the like button. Also, make sure to subscribe. Now, coming on in. One of the cool things about Lennar is what you see is what you get. Now, they do have a couple of options. And those options are going to be flooring, countertops, backsplash, and cabinets. But we do need to catch it early enough on in the build in order to make those changes. Otherwise, they're going to spec the home however they want. Now, coming on in, I do like this builder for the biggest reason. This is how the home is going to be like. It's not going to look like other builders where there's hundreds of thousands of dollars in options. This is basically what it's going to look like. Now, one thing for sure, this is optional flooring. Normally it's gonna be carpet everywhere minus the wet areas. So the wet areas are the entry, the um, laundry room, the kitchen, and the bathrooms. Otherwise carpet here, so they have done the tile. The only thing, and I know I say it all the time with Lennar, I just wish they either gave you the option or we just put it in some additional lighting. Cause this room is big. It is what, 3.30 in the afternoon. It's a little dim, but other than that, they do build really nice homes. So we have our living area. And I promise I'm gonna come all the way in and show you everything. We have dining area. We have a ton, ton of counter space. So before we check out the kitchen, right here is our living space. There's a decent amount of space in here. So <laughs> TV looks tiny up on that wall. Also out here in Vegas and Henderson, I don't know if I point it out all the time, that little guy right there is your high pressure fire suppression system. That's just code. So there's little sprinklers in there that will pop. God forbid a fire starts to save the structure. So just note, you do have water running through there, which is awesome. Before we get into the kitchen and dining really quickly, let's see if we could sneak outside. Unfortunately, we can't. One of the things, and I know I say it in my videos, if you buy new, one of the things why you should hire an agent, you might not realize, the backyard's not gonna be done now. Cool with them, turf is optional, but you're just gonna get these pavers now. If your backyard is big enough to support a pool spa heater, figure at minimum, at minimum you're spending 60, probably closer to $80,000 before landscaping. So keep that in mind. One of the things, again, you just need a budget for the backyard. You can finish it however you so choose, but keep that in mind. So we have a nice size dining table. Those chairs are huge and they have, what, five right here? I love all of this. <laughs> There's so much counter space in here and all the cabinetry. Now they're gonna have three different colored cabinets. They obviously did the gray. They have gray, white, and espresso. That backsplash is 100% an option. So all of the uppers, they have the 40 inch uppers. I don't know if here they're gonna have the cabinet option. I know on their higher end homes they have the cabinets, which are gonna be standard is bumper, optional will be soft close with hardware. I don't know if they have that availability at the townhomes. So coming on in, we do have our stainless steel four burner cooktop. You will get that, that's your microwave right there. It does not vent outside, that's that shared wall. 
Again, just make sure you wash out underneath if you do a lot of cooking because the fumes are just gonna recirculate. Getting into the island, it's not bad size. It's a little bit on the smaller side. I guess they could have pulled it maybe six inches, but mm, not bad. There's a, some storage underneath. You have your stainless steel dishwasher. Here's your stainless steel undermounted sink. Right there is your reverse osmosis water filter. If you don't know what that is, we have very, very hard water out here. There's some filters in the sink and basically bottled water comes out of that. Here's your view. So again, you're like literally right in the middle of everything. If we spin around, we have our stainless steel fridge and interesting, I'm just noticing, I see shelving over there. Cause I was gonna say that pantry is a little bit on the smaller side, but not really when we have this and oh goodness gracious <laughs> this is what harry potter dreamed of there is a ton of storage in here so you don't really need to be uh, worried about that pantry right here i mean storage 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 for days now unfortunately the two-car garage is locked they're using it as the sales office right now but we do have our downstairs powder room so you have your pedestal sink you have your toilet it's actually quite a large in here. Let's go ahead and head on upstairs. 100% upgraded flooring. Again, if you have any questions about anything I'm saying in this home, a different new construction, resale, you need to speak with the lender, give me a call. All my info is down in the description as well as that pinned comment. Wow, big loft. <laughs> and this is what I was saying is what you see is what you get with other builders. This potentially could be another bedroom. They gave you the option sometimes. It would be tight with that door right there, but no option for a bedroom. You're gonna get a loft and it's huge. It really is quite a big loft. Again, just give me a little bit more lighting. You're definitely gonna want lamps in here just because once that sun goes down, these are really the only two rooms in, or excuse me, two windows in this entire room. And it's big. So, coming on in, bedroom number one. Ooh, fun theme. <laughs> That's different. That's cool. I know some people just watch the videos just for inspiration, but nice size bedroom. I love how much glass is here. Full size bed, nightstand. You could probably cheat the bed a little bit and get a small desk in there, but it's wide enough and deep enough to even have a pretty big dresser. So, I don't know if you can see it. I'm not gonna zoom in because the blinds actually have a hard time focusing. You can see the strip right out there. Coming on over here, we have our two door closet slider. If you need more hanging space, move that bar and shelf up. Add a second one, you've doubled your hanging space. So coming on out right here, we have our shared bathroom. Oops, someone turned the light off. Interesting, I've noticed this that they're getting away from the double sinks. Do you guys like the double sink? I don't know if it's an option, but I've noticed that they're, you know, uh, they're giving you a lot of counter space, which I know I've asked before. Some people love this idea. Some people want the second sink. Hmm. So coming on into the actual water closet, let's hit the light. We have our toilet. We have our tub shower combo. Again, fiberglass composite. Easier to clean, no grout, no option for tile. So backing on out. Coming on into bedroom number two. And hmm, it doesn't look as deep as that last bedroom. It looks as wide. This bedroom looks to be a little bit smaller, but obviously they've set it up as a nursery. You could easily get that full size bed in right here. Nightstand, nightstand, but it's gonna be tight. I don't know if you could fit a dresser in here. That bedroom was pretty nice size. And you can see, let's just see, yeah, all of the pretty mountains out in the distance. But decent size room, that first one was definitely a bit bigger. Coming back on out. Right here, we have laundry. So you can purchase the washer and dryer through Lennar. Again, you can always go with Home Depot Lowe's, one of the appliance shops. They do charge a bit more with the builder. No option for uppers. So just so you know, this is the way it's going to look. I know I'm gonna show other ones. They have all the pretty cabinetry up above, not here. Coming into our primary. 
nice size room. Actually, really nice size room, but again, just even if you put two lights, just either give you the option to put two lights. You can always do it later on. I've added like, I don't know, 35 lights in my place because I was the same thing. I just, I want a little bit of light in the rooms. King size bed, nightstand, nightstand. We do have a window and we have a balcony. I don't know if it's covered. Some of them are, some of them aren't. We will get over there, I promise. Big dresser. Again, flooring's option up in here. Nicer flooring in the bathroom. Really quickly, let's see. It is covered. And it does have a light right there and a light right, oh, it's way bigger than I thought. Unfortunately, they keep them locked. So huge, huge covered balcony right here, or nice. I'm gonna spin around just again so you could see this room is very large. Interesting enough, they're not giving you the option with the two switches for a ceiling fan and light, so just one. Again, you could put the one up there and then get the little remote or just pull on the strings. Just something to note. Before we check out the entire bathroom, right here we do have our toilet, but spinning back, we have separate tub, separate shower. And again, this makes me so happy. I love the fact that they do privacy glass. Again, I make the joke, it's Vegas. Not everyone wants to put on a free show. So love the fact that they do privacy glass in the bathroom. There's your shower. You have a shelf, you have the bench. Here's your tub. It is a bit deeper. It's actually a pretty nice size. But again, fiberglass composite, same vanities. And then coming on into our Closet, so single bar. Let's see how deep it is. Uh, it's okay size. It's definitely on a little bit of a smaller size. So you can always call a closet company and they can come do this real nice. But it's a little bit on the smaller size, at least compared to some of the other models they have in here. Because some of them have pretty nice size closets. All in all, not bad. What do you think about this one? Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever regarding this home, a different one, new construction or resale, please, please, please give me a call. I am here to help. Again, even if you need to get in touch with a lender, see what you qualify for, give me a call. Again, if you could do me a huge favor, hit that like button. Also, make sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.